but once again, Comic Universe, DPZ, rolling solo, once again. And today, I'm going to give you another comic review from our good friend over here on the channel, Chris, uh, Mount Vernon Kid, I hope you're watching. Uh, and yeah, today I'm going to be reviewing a Dynamite book uh, for Pumpkinhead. That's right, Pumpkinhead, the demon of vengeance himself has uh, got himself a little comic written by Cullen Bunn and artwork by Blackie Shepard. Uh, this comic is the first volume of the Pumpkinhead series. I believe it's only five issues out because Cullen Bunn is kind of busy. So I guess it's going to be like, they're just, they're story arcs, but they're going to be more told like um, anthologies. I guess that's the current idea for it. So, Pumpkinhead. What did I think of Pumpkinhead Sins Revisited, as the story is called? So, I liked it. Uh, I will admit that this was a quick read, but then again, I was so excited to read this because I really love the character of Pumpkinhead. So, I was kind of like, yeah, okay, I'll, you know, I'll just, I breeze through this in less than a day. Like, seriously, I breeze through this in less than a day, probably because I was really excited to read it. I could have taken my time with it. Um, but yeah, I, I just kind of blew right through it. Anywho, so this is the story that actually not only delves into the origin of Pumpkinhead, a little bit at least, but it also it does a little more of the origin of Haggis, the witch, uh, who summons and leashes Pumpkinhead. We also get another revelation about old Pumpkinhead, a few other revelations about Pumpkinhead. A, we learn Pumpkinhead's real name. That's right, we learn Pumpkinhead's real name. And we find out he's got siblings. That's right. So this story, um, I will admit that there's one drawback in that I think it tries to do a little too much in five issues. For a five-issue comic it, it, um, story arc, it really feels like it, it uh, tried to wrap everything up way too quick because Pumpkinhead's unleashed when a, uh, a drug dealer has essentially accidentally killed two kids, um, and the and the grandfather ha goes to Haggis to summon Pumpkinhead. Well, in return, uh, they go to Haggis. The drug dealers go to Haggis's sisters. Sisters, that's right. She has sisters who all watch over other demons. So Pumpkinhead, first and foremost, his real name is Vengeance. So, and it's kind of funny because they name, you know, when they say, you know, whenever they talk about Pumpkinhead, they say vengeance can't be stopped or vengeance can't do that. So in a weird way, we've always known Pumpkin, you know, Pumpkinhead's real name. We've always known Pumpkinhead's real name. It's kind of like how, um, uh, the creator of Ar Hey Arnold always, like, snuck, you know, he revealed that we've always heard Arnold's last name until the movie. You know, uh, like, his name has always been Arnold Shortman, but the movie officially confirmed it. So this comic officially confirms that Pumpkinhead's real name is Vengeance. Um, and Vengeance has six other brothers and sisters. He is one of the se demons who represent the seven deadly sins, and each of Haggis' sisters each watch over a demon. One of gluttony, one of greed, another of pride and envy, and another of lust. So, yeah, pu they all summon Pumpkinhead's siblings to take not only take him out, but take Haggis out, and whoever gets in the way. Uh, I like the idea of Pumpkinhead be having siblings, and a lot of them are pretty well designed. I will admit that uh, lust feels a little, the design for lust is a little boring, and Envy's design is, a, a demonic design is a little generic. But the other demons, like Gluttony, uh, Greed, and Pride, all of them look really good, especially Greed. Greed looks like a demonic version of The Thing from John Carpenter's movie. Uh, and we get to see Pumpkinhead fight. There's also a bit of backstory in that, you know, Pumpkinhead has, you know, his siblings despise him because he gets let out so much. Everyone wants vengeance, but no one really needs anyone to take on, you know, powers of, you know, who really calls upon a demon of gluttony or, you know, whoever. So the other demons aren't really called upon, but, pump, you know, but, pump, but their older brother's vengeance is always called upon. And I like that. This also does a lot of storytelling for, um... This also does a lot of... Give a lot of character to Haggis, who, yeah, Haggis is not really evil. It's more like she's just kind of neutral. She's more like the uh, conduit for Pumpkinhead and keeps him on a leash. She knows he's evil, but so long as she's around, she can keep him, you know, in check. Um, and it's, it is kind of interesting of how she looks at her, her sibling... Her, her sisters kind of treated her... 
Um, and also, they're they're jealous that she got the good demon to take, you know, the quote-unquote good demon to take over. Um, so it's really neat. My problem is, is that they tr that Cullen Bunn tries to do too much in too little time. He tries to do the story with Pumpkinhead going after the uh, drug dealers, as well as, pump you know, Pumpkinhead taking on his demonic siblings, and also do a bit of backstory for Haggis, as well as this mystery that the new sheriff in town is trying to put together. That's my drawback with this comic, is that it tries to do too much in too little time. There's some great gore in here, there, you know, the character of Pumpkinhead is really well done, and there's some decent fight sequences in here. Um, the beauty of comics is that Pumpkinhead is allowed to be a little more nimble in here. He's a little more, he's allowed to be a little more nimble and a bit more, um, uh, what, what, what's the word? Like, he's more, like, he's more nimble and a little, he's also a, a smart thinker. Like, he's also a real a quick on his feet. Um, especially when he's taking on, like, Gluttony or Sloth. Oh, yeah, Sloth was another one. I forgot. Sloth was uh, another one of the demons uh, of his demonic brothers. Um, so I dug that. Um, and also there is a backup story of him dealing with Gluttony. It's kind of done... That story is kind of done as a Tales of the Crypt-esque story of, of uh, Pumpkinhead's battle with Gluttony and how that plays out. Uh, but all in all, it's a pretty... If you are a fan of the Pumpkinhead series, it's pretty good. Uh, I will say they also introduced Bunt. It took me a moment to remember who Bunt was. Bunt, for those who remember, was the uh, kid who tried to help the teens uh, from Pumpkinhead in the first movie, Escape Pumpkinhead in the first movie, and he came back in Pumpkinhead 3. Um, but they brought him back here, and it seems like they don't... They're just acknowledging the first movie. Like, Cullen Bunn is just acknowledging the first movie. Which is fine, because, well, the Pumpkinhead, you know, Pumpkinheads 2 through 4 are not that great. Although I will admit, I do get some enjoyment out of, uh, some of those movies. I will admit that I get some of the, uh, you know, some enjoyment out of those movies. Another draw, and I, I know I keep thinking of other drawbacks, but yeah, they, they only mention Ed Harley. Um, Lance Henriksen's character from the first movie who appeared in two, in 3 and 4, in ghost form, mind you. And it sucks because Ed Harley's character is, like, a ghost now, and he should be haunting Haggis. So, yeah, I'm surprised they didn't... They only mentioned Ed Harley. Like, they, they brought in Bunt, but it, you had to, it, like... It, they kind of retooled him because he's now, like, a town drunk instead of, like, an, a fat guy uh, who was in the third movie... As he was in the third movie, which also had, featured the actor who played Pinhead, funny enough. But I digress. But I would have liked to see more, like, the ghost of Ed Harley and, like, more of the connection. But other than that, the idea with the lore of having, you know, Pumpkinhead have, you know, siblings just like Haggis does, that's really neat. And how the comic ends and where Haggis goes as a character now is going to be really interesting should they, should we get another volume. Which, again, uh, Cullen Bunn is kind of busy over at Marvel, and, uh, so I kind of imagine we may not see that for a while. Also, dear, uh, dear, uh... Dynamite. I can't believe... I'm sorry I'm tripping over my words here. But yeah, Dear Dynamite, can we get uh, Pumpkinhead versus Jeepers Creepers? I know you're doing the Jeepers Creepers comic, so you can't do Freddy versus Jason because I don't know where the comic rights are for Freddy, Jason, and Leatherface, and even Michael are right now. But you do have uh, Pumpkinhead and Jeepers Cre and the Creeper from Jeepers Creepers. So how about Pumpkinhead, uh, a Pumpkinhead Jeepers Creepers crossover? Wouldn't be that hard. Just saying, would not be that hard. So, that's all I'm saying in that regard, is that, uh, just, just do it. Like, you can have your own Freddy vs. Jason, but with two different monsters. Two unkillable monsters. So, that's, that's how I see, you know, that's how I'm looking at it. Um, but anyway, if you are, I would only recommend this for, like, super hard fans of, uh, Pumpkinhead, like I am. If you enjoy the, the, the movie of Pumpkinhead, or some of the movies like I do, I'd say check this out. This was a pretty fun read, although, like I said, it's, it felt like a quick read to me, and there are some problems here and there, but I would say give it a look, at least. I would say if you are a Pumpkinhead fan, um, I, this isn't for, like, newcomers, uh, this isn't, like, this isn't reader-friendly if you don't know the lore. So, fan, this is more of a fan comic. But anyway, so, you guys tell me in the comments below, what did you, if you've read Dynamite's Pumpkinhead comic, uh, comment below, let us know what you thought of it, and all, as always, if you're new here, remember to like, share, and subscribe, but first, 
Always remember to Hulk smash that subscribe button and be a part of Earth's Mightiest Subscribers. Uh, so, uh, just remember to do that. And I am DPZ, and we will see you right here once more in the universe.